to start by reviewing some cereals that might be appealing to children. I'm going to start with serving size. Now with most serving cereals, the serving size is about three quarters of a cup. And I'd like to demonstrate what three quarters of a cup looks like by putting it into a bowl as I have done here. Serving size is important because children might eat more than just one serving. We'll take a look, start with this cereal, and most mothers aren't going to be fooled and think that this is a healthy choice, but they still might be persuaded by their child to purchase it. And for that one three-quarter cup serving, it has 10 grams of sugar and three grams of fat. The double chocolate cereal here has 11 grams of sugar and three and a half grams of fat per three quarter cup serving. Now, what about something that might seem a little bit healthier, like a, a shredded wheat type cereal? This does have less fat. It has one gram of fat, uh, but it still has 11 grams of sugar. Now, the serving size is actually 21 biscuits. And what I did is I measured that out to see exactly what that serving size might look like. And as you can see, the serving size is very much the same. Now lastly, what about a grain cereal? And this here has less processed nutrition you can see. And I would agree with that, that if you can see a grain or a nut or a dried fruit, you are already getting a better product. But in the cereal, there are four grams of fat and 13 grams of sugar per three quarter cup serving. To the credit, there is five grams of fiber. And I have to mention that because there is dried fruit in here, there's going to be some naturally occurring sugar. So it's not all added sugar. Now the sugar in these cereals ranges from 10 to 13 grams per serving. To put that into perspective, we'll take a look at some cookies. And one serving of these cookies is two cookies. These have nine grams of sugar. So every single cereal I just showed you has more sugar per serving than a serving of these cookies. Another popular brand has 11 grams per serving. Their serving size is three cookies, so 11 grams per serving. Again, about the same as each of these cereals that I have shown to you today. The one difference, you'll definitely find more fat within the cookies than in the cereals. Another point I'd like to make with the cereals is what's listed at the top. Although we look at Reese's, when we think of Reese's peanut butter cups, most people aren't thinking of something healthy. But if the top of the cereal is going to say, with whole grain as the first ingredient. So that appears on the top of a lot of sugar cereals. Good source of fiber made with whole grain. So that is something that can be confusing when the child is seeing the crave double chocolate and the mother is seeing whole grain and fiber. And it's important to look at the ingredients. And we'll take a look at the ingredients, and I'm going to read them out to you for this cereal. It says, first ingredient is whole grain, and it is whole grain corn. But what's the second ingredient? Sugar. Third is Reese's peanut butter. Now, within Reese's peanut butter, there is sugar and molasses. So we have two sugars within that ingredient, along with cornstarch, a very highly digestible starch, um, and then oils and processed oils. So then we get to the fourth ingredient is sugar. It's dextrose, but that's known as sugar. Cornstarch, again, and then corn syrup, sugar. That's a sixth ingredient. So we've gone through six ingredients and four of them have sugar. 
Then we have oils and cornmeal. And then I, as you go down further, further, I want to point out something important is the number of food additives. We have red, 40. Yellow, 5 and 6. Blue, 1. These are all food colorings or food additives. Try sodium phosphate. Now, when you look at this list, what it's really giving you is starch, sugar, oil, processed oil, food dyes, and food additives. Now, what's tricky is that when a mother might look at this, see the whole grain at the top, the whole grain as the first ingredient, and then see vitamin E and canola oil. Well, that sounds healthy. And then a whole list of vitamins and minerals that have been added to the product. But remember, in general, vitamins and minerals that have been added as fortification or for supplementation have not been associated with improved health. So that doesn't necessarily make it a healthy product or a good choice. The American Heart Association has established that children ages four to eight need no, no more than three teaspoons of added sugar a day. That should be the upper limit. One teaspoon is one sugar cube. One sugar cube has four grams of sugar per teaspoon. The cereals that you see here all have a serving size of three quarters cup, which is shown in that black cup below. That's one serving, and each of these cereals has 10 to 11 grams of sugar, and that's added sugar per serving. That means that they are almost at three teaspoons, so three of these, per serving. That means a child who is consuming three quarters cup or more of the cereal is already reaching their upper limit for added sugar per day, just by eating bread.